This is Damien from Above and Beyond Web Design. I'm going to show you how to set up a custom HTML Outlook email signature. So what, we, what we've done is we'll email you uh, a signature file. I've got two of them here. So what we're going to do is first go into take note of the names, BD underscore Brad. So whatever your signatures that you create in Outlook, they have to be that exact same name. So if we go accounts, uh, tools, options, we go mail format, signatures, I'm going to create a new one. Type the name of the signature, remember? BD underscore Brad, the, the, it has to be the name of the file without the extension. So we'll go BD underscore Brad, okay. Right, and then we want to add a new one. Right, then we just go okay. And then what that does, uh, after that happens, you want to copy this line of code that we'll give you. And you want to click Start in Windows and Run. In this little box here, you paste that in there and press Enter. It opens up a window, right, with these files in it. What you want to do is delete the bdbrad.htm, delete the bdjustin.htm, And what we can do then is in the other window where we've sent you these files, drag and drop those into this window that we opened. So we're replacing the default ones that Microsoft created with the ones that we've created. Now, when we go into Outlook, we go Tools, Options, Mail Format, Signatures. We've got one for Brad. We got one for Justin. Don't worry about the the images will be are loading from a server, so they may have a little tiny delay. So now, if we for the email account, say if this was Brad at AB Pages, we would go new message. So any new messages that Brad sends is going to use that. Any new replies he uses that, and click OK. Okay, now when we go to send a new email, you've got the details of the user. So you can, and then that's included in your email signature. Okay, um, that should be about it. If there, uh, just I'll give you another little tip. If we do include the TXT files to replace as well in this window, drag and drop them in and replace the text files as well. Anything then from here, first thing you have to remember is you have to create a signature with ex the exact name that we've given you. And then you need to copy them into the window after pressing, see this code, line of code, and paste it in here. But uh, that's how you create email signatures. Um, let us know if you have any questions. My name is Damien from Above and Beyond and our email address is support at avpages.com. Thanks.